Here's five ways that you can cut and trim your clips in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first one is heading over to our toolbar, grabbing our razor tool and clicking and making a cut. This is the most basic way. You can also just access your razor tool by pressing C on your keyboard. And V gets you back to your selection or move tool. These are kind of like the two most important tools. Now, another thing you can do instead of just clicking with the razor tool is holding shift on your keyboard and then clicking you'll see this will extend the cut line across all of your tracks. So previously we were just making cuts on this video layer, but if I hold shift it'll cut through everything on the timeline, which can be useful as well. And when you have, whenever you press V you can go back to your move tool, and in that way, kind of move these cuts around. So those V and C are useful to know. Another thing you can do is cut simply by dragging the end of a clip. This is where you're going to want to have your selection tool active. And if you just click and drag, you can drag a clip out or in to trim it. However, this will only be able to trim it either from the start or end point. You won't be able to make any cuts in the middle. Another tip that you might not know is, you know that you're at the beginning or end of the clip when you're trimming when you reach this little end cap, you see this white little triangle at the end and the beginning. That's how you know this is a clip that starts fully at the beginning and end of its duration and as soon as I trim it a little bit you see those end caps go away, that means this clip is trimmed a little bit. There's more information, another thing you can do is just cut by moving if I ever take one splice or slice of a clip and just drag it on top of another clip. It'll just overwrite whatever we drag so in this way, I'm kind of trimming them into each other or just replacing things by moving them on top of each other. Another way that you can cut is with the shortcuts Q and W on your keyboard. These are called the ripple delete tools. So traditionally, if I wanted to just trim off this portion of a clip and then put it back to the other clip's end. I could press C, cut, and then press V, grab my selection tool, you know, delete that, and then move the clip back over. And what we've done is we've trimmed a little bit off and closed the gap. However, a faster way to just do exactly that, move your timeline, playhead, where you want it to cut, and simply press Q. Q will trim off everything to the left of the playhead to the next cut line. Now it does take a look at what track is targeted, so track targeting here. These blue kind of highlights on V1, V2, V3. That's what it pays attention to when it tries to consider the next cut. So make sure you do have the track targeted if you want the cut to be recognized. The same thing for ripple delete forward. So if I want to just trim the end of this clip instead of you know, cutting it in some way and deleting it and even clicking on that gap and pressing delete with ripple delete, I can simply press W that'll trim everything forward from this point until the next cut happens and squeeze them all together. So you're saving a bunch of steps in one ripple delete is very useful. I can just consistently, you know, trim off edges or trim off the start of the clip and still bring it back to that original cut point. You'll also notice whenever you drag things, Premiere will try to snap them to cuts. That's going to work. If you have this snap feature turned on in the timeline to this little magnet right here, you can turn it off if you're trying to do something where you do need the frame to be just one off and you're not trying to have it snap to the timeline or the edge of another clip. So remember you do have the snap feature available to you. And lastly, another just shortcut for cutting instead of using, clicking the razor tool and clicking it, or pressing C and clicking, is by simply pressing Ctrl K will cut. It will basically just make a splice wherever the timeline is. So Ctrl K is just another way to cut with the keyboard. When you are working with that, then you don't even have to have the razor tool activated. You can be trimming and then press Ctrl K. You don't have to switch to the razor tool. But if you ever want to double check or change any of these shortcuts to your own preference, you can always go to Premiere Pro, Keyboard Shortcuts, and you can see all these shortcuts that I mentioned. QW, that's Ripple Delete or Ripple Trim Forward, Backward. And you have the option to edit these if for some reason you want to change it. I tend to just keep everything default. And also remember, whenever you're working on a clip, you can zoom really far in or out, and you can use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard if you do want to get that exact frame. And this is helpful when you do want to get to an exact frame, and then maybe press W or something to ripple delete it or press Ctrl K to cut it at an exact frame.
You can also press the up and down arrow keys to jump from cut to cut. And remember this also takes into account which tracks you have targeted. So this can be a great way to just jump to a cut point as well, or any of the ways that we've cut. So these are 5 or so best ways to trim and cut in Premiere Pro. Hopefully you did learn a new thing in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.